In order to best manage the crape myrtle bark scale, we've been trying to understand what their population cycles do throughout the season. That is to say, when their populations increase and decrease in order to know when's the best time to target those populations with a contact insecticide. What we've found so far is that the populations really start to increase towards a peak around mid-April to beginning of May. And that's based on two years worth of data based out of here in Tyler, Huntsville, Call Station, and Dallas. We're now collecting data as well for this year and we'll continue to collect for subsequent years to better understand how different temperatures uh, throughout the years really affects when those peaks really happen. So right around that mid-April to beginning of May is the time you'd want to use a contact insecticide. Right now we've found one of the most effective contact insecticides to be bifenthrin. That is the active ingredient bifenthrin. Now, if you want to use a systemic insecticide, something that's actually going to be taken up into the tree and actually uh, give you season-long control, you're looking at applying it quite a bit earlier. You want to apply it right when the crepe myrtles start to bud out their leaves. And so you'll see right now, it's beginning of March, uh, the leaves have not budded out yet. I would not apply those systemics yet because the plant is not actively taking up nutrients and solution from the ground. You're gonna wait until around mid-March, maybe end of March, really until those leaves just start to bud, and then you wanna apply either a systemic like imidacloprid or dinutefuran, which will be taken up into the plant so that by mid-April to beginning of May, it'll be present up higher in the tree when the crepe myrtle bark scale is actually feeding. And that way it'll actually target them and kill them. We're gonna continue doing some more studies, looking at a number of different types of products that might be able to manage the crepe myrtle bark scale especially some of these products that will be safer on beneficials and some of our pollinators as well.